So what is fool? At the beginning of all things, Eros caused a great explosion. because God wanted to see his reflection, his other side. And when that happened, it caused so much. All the particles that went out in space, all the winds, everything lost its wholeness, its totality. And then everything became bipolar, if you will. Day and night, life and death, him and her, summer, winter, So the God, or the gods, after this point, had something come between them. And this is what we call the Demiurge. Now first Hyperborea was what we would call absolute perfection and holiness what we refer to as the green ray in existence a complete totality harmony the second what well, that would be called first hyperborea the first hyperborea was absolute perfection, non-materiality. There was uh, nothing material. It was just all in existence. Now, second hyperborea, or fool, was at the North Pole, at the top. And after the catastrophe, everything tilted 23 degrees, that sacred number 23, which can be found in a lot of things in nature. But before that, before the partition and involution, in Hyperborea and Thule, at the top, Thul can be considered the capital of Hyperborea, the very center. It's more like a town than it is like a continent. Hyperborea would be the continent, while Thul would be the collegium, the center, the capital. the heart of Hyperborea. At first, the Hyperboreans can be considered they did not have bodies as we know them. There was only uh, maybe like a wind, like a breath, and they traveled by using thought itself. So when they thought about something, that is where they were. We hear things about uh, Vamanas and UFOs. That only came later after things became more dense and material 
set in. That didn't happen until the third age. The Bronze Age, according to the Greeks. But the Hyperboreans, the Christians would call them angels. We see pictures of them, the very perfect beings with the blonde hair, the beautiful beings that protect the animal men. And thus, the Demiurge coming between the Hyperboreans, a war was waged on us in the beginning. And so we took that war and entered enemy territory. And the gods came down, more gods, from first Hyperborea and waged war. But Hyperborea was a place covered in ice. The surroundings were giant ice walls. Now in the center and through would be like a perfect vernal or autumnal equinox. The sun never set. It was in perfect, perfect horizon. Therefore, uh, the fruit, the vegetables and all those things, life itself, was always there. There were no seasons. Everything was straight. And this is where mankind comes in. Man as the inner Hyperborea. Because just as the earth was straight, and the earth is a living being, a star, Mankind, your spinal cord has to be straight. And Hyperborea would be your Sarasaurus chakra and your Agna chakra. Because when the catastrophe came, Hyperborea went inside. It never... Uh, was torn, torn or anything, Poseidon put a golden cord around Hyperborea and Hyperborea only went to the inside, to the inner earth, in the inner earth. Now this is within and without 